because you know at their place when we played um, it was a battle of the, de of the defensive end and I felt like our offense has been getting better and better as the last few weeks really month has gone on so I felt if we could hit shots being at home helps sure um, but you know we tried to isolate some people coming off ball screens and um, they did a nice job they made pretty good decisions and we made shots when we needed to hit shots that's a big step for us. Um, we've done that a couple times throughout the year, but not to the best team in the league. And, and Navy's still the best team in the league right now. Um, and you got to give them credit because, you know, day in and day out, you know, it's tough to win games in this league in general, on the road, at home. They're a tough team to play at home. Um, but it, it feels good to be able to um, just continue to improve our defense, especially, you know, when you look at it, our post defense has, has just grown leaps and bounds from where it was in the beginning of the year and if you can take away an inside game then it makes it, it forces teams to have to hit perimeter shots and um, and that's what we were trying to do today yes we, we, we said to our team you know if we're gonna try to win this whole thing you know down the road in a few weeks we've got to get some scores and some easy baskets and that's going it's post moves it's going inside making some post moves um, and we felt that you know, our posts have been getting better in practice with making moves and being confident in themselves. And, you know, it kind of showed today that, that we've been working on that. I think you, you hit it head on with what I tell my team every, t every uh, game, is that when our assist to turnover ratio looks like this, that means we win games. It's the games where you see, like against Army at Army, eight assists to nine turnovers, we lose. When we have almost double, you know, the amount of assists that you have uh, turnovers, we usually win games. So, yeah, that's a huge stat for us. And you know, if you look at Alex, I mean, seven seven assists, Jen six, and, and those two really are, do a great job of finding people in transition, you know, in the offense. So, um, I think that's a real key stat just for us in general. Yeah, with the threes. Yeah, um, you know, both Army and Navy are really good at shooting the three. So it kind of scares you a little bit when you when you don't have good post defense and you have to double down. And we're trying to not have to do that so we don't leave the threes wide open. Um, but, you know, the one, the one change I think I've seen just moving from the MAC to the Patriot League is the Patriot League has a ton of three-point shooters. Uh, every team seems to have two or three or four people that can shoot the three. So it makes it harder to, to help. So it really shows me recruiting wise that you need to bring in some posts that can defend because you're going to need to be able to do that if you want to win. It doesn't mean anything really. <laughs> I, you know, that's just a stat. Um, it's nice to have it, I guess. Um, but you know, you got to credit the kids. It's not about me. It's about them executing what we're asking them to execute. And you know, I'd, lo I'd love 23 or 24 wins because 20 means nothing at this point. So um, it's nice. To, it's nice to get there. I appreciate the comment. And um, We'll see what happens. <laughs> I think we're getting there. I still don't think we've reached um, where you know we consistently have our, our top three scores and and Aaron, um, Lex, and Jen all on the same page. We haven't had that yet all year. So you know it'd be nice if that happened in the tournament. Um, I do think we're playing better. What, whether we peaked or are peaking, I think we're getting closer. Um, but you know when you when you just come off a loss at Army, I can't sit there and say yeah we're playing great because we lost and. You know, Army's a tough team to play, so I do think we're close. I think Army's playing really well right now, um, so that would be a tough, if we get to the semi game, that would be a tough game for us. Uh, I mean, I think when we go into games like this, you never know, because everybody, every team's going to help off somebody else or whatever. What I would, I can, uh, what I can say that I'm happy about is Michelle hitting that 15 to 18 foot shot. We've been pr prodding at her all year. Like, listen, if people are going to help off you, you have to shoot that. And she makes it in practice. So it's not like she can't shoot it. It's just her feeling comfortable. And um, so, yeah, game in and game out. You know, as coaching staff, it's kind of nerve wracking that you don't know who's going to step up to the plate. But it's been pretty consistently Aaron, Lex, and Jen. You know, you, th you sprinkle in Gigi every once in a while. Michelle's had some great games. You know, Sarah's been up there, so you just don't know. Uh, but I think it's helpful because then you've got a bunch of kids that can score in double digits. This is a first for me, so I'm not sure just yet. Uh, other than, you know, I'm not going to kill them in practice. I'm going to give them some breaks, um, and, and hopefully the rest will help energize them in general. We'll probably do a lot of film. 
um, and a lot of just working on pieces of the game, but not necessarily just practicing to practice. But okay, well, depending on who the opponent is, well, this is what happened last time. Let's see if we can change this, and really just work on clicking like offensively. I think that's our. I think we click defensively. I don't think that's ever been an issue, but um, just getting our offense in sync and um, giving them rest. I think it was our focus um, going into it, especially inside. And then once we were able to control the inside, we really focused on stopping their shooters on the outside. So I think just our focus going into it and in practice in the past few days. Definitely. Um, when we get easy points, it's usually in the paint, transition, um, post-ups. So we, <laughs> we definitely look to um, inside and out, because when we score on the inside, it leaves open our outside shots. I think it just um, lets us, you know, we have one more game before co um, the conference tournament, and I think it just gives us confidence and, you know, finish out the conference, um, play strong, and then go into the tournament with a lot of confidence. Exciting. I mean, it's the, the time of the year you look forward to. Everything comes down to the end, and um, hopefully you're at your peak at that point, and I think we're getting there, and we're playing well. So if we can continue the momentum that we have, we'll definitely be in good shape. I think we just need to keep what we're doing. Um, defensively, especially, we brought a lot of energy and focus, like Aaron said. So if we keep that up, and it, it starts in practice, so we've been having pretty good practices, we got to keep that going um, so that we don't have a letdown.